So when I lived in the dorms, they would fine you on move out if you had any nicks or holes in the wall. So the students would just fill the holes with toothpaste and carry on. One of my friends who wasn't as into critical thinking had been told of this trick and filled his holes with blue toothpaste. You can imagine that didn't go over that well. Though of course, toothpaste of any variety isn't a great plan when you can just get spackle. Push a little spackle into the hole, wipe off the excess so it's flush, and for bonus points, take a lightly damp cloth and wipe off any smudges on the outside of the hole as they're gonna dry white. It's like, really easy. I don't say this because I expect college kids and tenants to do it. I say it because even if you had a thousand pushpin holes in a wall, it would take a competent landlord in an afternoon to do a full reset of it, including paint touch-ups, which should already be a part of a landlord's responsibilities. This annoyingly prevalent idea that people who rent must sit quietly in the middle of their apartments and make sure not to touch anything because that might cause a landlord an extra hour of work in three to ten years is not only inhumane and asinine, but unrealistic. And you know, when you get too asinine and unrealistic, you end up with minty fresh walls.